Strolicize. Consult your physician before you begin this or any exercise program. Welcome to Stroller Size. My name is Elizabeth Trindade, I'm a personal trainer. And as a personal trainer, I thought I knew everything about exercise. And then I got pregnant, large breasts, big waistline, no waistline, bought a stroller, and I couldn't even lift it. I put a stroller in my hand and started lifting and folding and maneuvering the stairs and the doors and the curbs, and I realized I didn't have a training program to be a mother. This is a training program for you. It allows you to use the stroller as a resistance apparatus that helps you with posture and back pain and all of that stuff that's kind of extra in the lower middle. It's going to help you with a kegel muscle to make sure that that stays nice and tight. And it's going to let you put fitness into your life and have that baby be a part of your life. Okay, let's go to the park. We're here in Central Park and we've gathered together real moms and their real babies so that we can show you at home what we can do with stroller size. Before we ever start this exercise class, I always give the same lecture. We're waiting for a few moms to gather now. But when we start a class, we want to make sure of first safety. Safety for the baby and then safety also for yourself. You want to make sure that the baby is strapped in. You also want to make sure that the brakes are in good working order. And the baby may have a lot of bottles and clothing and blankets, but do you have a water bottle? Drinking water throughout the program is really very important. The other thing that's super important is your posture. You want to make sure your chin is lifted, your shoulders are down, your chest is up, and even if you're breastfeeding and you're feeling a little bit self-conscious about your breath, you keep them lifted because it's all important for your back. So many times do I see women just over the stroller like this and I wanted to say, chest up, aren't you glad you're a mother? Be proud to be behind that stroller and pushing it with some passion and might. All right, let me continue the posture. What about the waistline? I want you to think tiny. I want you to think pulled in. If you think about it, you may start to feel like you have a waistline. Think about your hips being narrow and your thighs being tight and long. Your knees straight ahead, your toes straight ahead, your elbows out, and you're a proud mom. Stroller holds. The two hand techniques are playing the pram with your fingers spread apart, fluting fingers for the umbrella stroller. The three stroller holds are the double hold with two hands, the right hold with the right hand only, and the left hold with the left hand only. Let's begin a warm-up. Warm-ups should take about three to five minutes. Warm-ups can be done in many different ways. For a new mom, just getting out of the house can be considered a warm-up, packing everything up and opening the door and getting out of the house. Or you can march in place behind the stroller or walk to your favorite children's park. In stroller size, we have a joint warm-up that gets all the muscle groups ready to go. So standing in front of the stroller, holding onto the handles, let's begin. Right knee up. Standing really tall, bring it right up close to the right chest. Other side, bring the left knee right up, right close to that chest, standing leg stretched. Calves, stretch out the right leg, put the heel down in the back and stretch out your calf. That's it, and other side. And as you stretch out the calf, think of your belly button. Now let's stretch out the quads and grab the ankle with your right hand and pull your heel close up to the buttocks. Feel this stretch in your quads. Other side. Mothers have weak backs, so let's stretch out our backs. Stick your tail way out, step away from the stroller, stretch it way out. Standing up close to the stroller, let's bend over to the left side, way over. Stretch it out, other side. Use the stroller for balance, that's why we have it. Isn't that great? Turn around and look and see if there's anybody behind you. Twist your waistline, keep your hips straight to the stroller. Other side. 
the hamstrings, the back of the legs. Stick out your right foot and try to touch your toes by sticking the tail out. Stand up, kiggle. Other side, try to touch your toes. Toe is straight up, pointing to the sky. Get a good stretch on that. Standing up, right arm makes big circles, big circles to the back. Opening up the shoulder, left arm, big circles on the left side. Warm up that shoulder. Now I want you to reach out in front of the stroller with your right hand and twist a little bit with the thumb. Shoulder twisting, reach on past those four wheels in the front. Back stretch. Standing in front of the stroller, grab your right knee, bring it up to the side so your heel is higher than your knee, just like you're getting on a horse. Left leg, bring it up, bring that knee up, feel the crunch in the side, that's it. Lunges. Step to the side of the stroller on the left side. Get really low, buttocks out, and glide all the way across like you're hiding from Santa. Peek-a-boo. Turning to the right side, lunge away. Lunges are so important for moms to pick up toys. And turning back, get really low to the stroller, hiding again. Feel the inside of your thighs stretching. Turn to the left, lunge. Keep your chest lifted, your shoulders over your hips. Gently bring your feet back together and put out that right foot and start tapping. Come on, 40 taps. And left foot and tap and warm up the front of that shin. Tap, 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 tap. I call this mother tapping. Marching in place, chest is lifted. Let's begin. The first aerobic walk for stroller size is the stroller size regular walk. Spread your fingers out, hold on to the stroller with both hands. Elbows out, chest up, wrist straight. Let's regular walk. There's just a few things to remember. Toes straight ahead, feet inside of the wheels. One thing a mother needs to know is she can't go right, she can't go left, the toes have got to go straight ahead, because mama knows which way to go. Buttocks tight, belly button in, pulled way inside, and this is a great time to visualize your small waistline. Concentrate on your breathing. Breathe in. Exhale. Open up your chest. Begin to put a little pace on this regular walk. That's right. Are you aware of your posture? Let's move to the left side of the stroller. Your right hand is holding on to it. Uh-oh, it's our first time with only one hand. We can do it. Pump out the left arm. Chest up. The ball of the foot is the power of every forward motion. Let the hips swing from side to side. Double hold. As we pass from the right hand to the double hold, we move to the left hand. This side might be weak for you if you're right-handed, and if you're left-handed, this is your side. So keep your left elbow up, feel your left pec hard and perky, and control that stroller. Now let's learn the tight walk. With the tight walk, holding the stroller with two hands, I want you to squeeze your buttocks real, real tight and your legs to move extra, extra fast. Heel, 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 heel. Come on, give a little aggression on that stroller. Push it in front of you. You can do it. Your legs should be close together so your knees brush a bit. Your thighs brush a bit. I really want that buttocks to move hard. Imagine your buttocks squishing into that tight little red leather skirt. Tight walk. Come on. Make those legs move real quick and fast. Good. Roller side. Let's get some pace on this show and begin the third walk. The stroller size stride. With your right hand on the stroller, 
I want you to move the legs really long, extra long legs. Striding right, striding left, your left arm brushing the side of your hips with every step. Now begin to think, how much do you have to do today? Groceries? Errands? Pediatrician? Playgroups? Lunch? Exercise? Let's begin the thriller size roll. That's where everything has to get up and go. Pick up your pace a little bit, skim your heels, buttocks nice and tight, kegel like crazy. Move the stroller through, watch where you're going. Let's go. Keep your heels close to the ground, belly button pulled up inside, and I want your chest open, your shoulders nice and wide, and hold those breaths together. And if you feel like you want to put your right arm across, just to prevent them from bouncing, I'd sure like that. We want to keep everything under control. You're rolling. Let's check out the left side of the stroller. Right hand on the handle. Left arm pumping. You're skimming. You're moving through the curves, the pathway, the park, the road. Are you with a friend? Are you with a group? How's that baby like it? Is the baby sleeping? By the way, if that baby ever needs any attention during your aerobic cardio section, try to keep your feet marching if you need to stop and give it a bottle or tuck in a blanket. Otherwise, keep rolling. Are the feet straight ahead? They're not going right or left. Are they inside of the wheel? With your right hand on the stroller, remember to keep your elbow up and lifted. Your right pec nice, strong, and perky. Want to make sure you're supported. We've got one more walk to learn. The stroller size gallop. It'll be done with the right hand on the stroller. Turn away from the stroller, look straight over. Left hand on the hip. And begin to do a skipping motion. And gallop. Do about four or five on one side, and then you're gonna turn, regular walk a little bit, and then you're gonna gallop on the other side. Put the left hand on the stroller, the right hand on the hip. Let's gallop. Think of skipping with the back of the leg coming up to the front of the leg. Don't go too high. Keep your stomach nice and tight and flat. Regular walk, right hand on the stroller. Keep on galloping. Go back to the regular walk with the left hand on the stroller, right hand on the hip. Keep on galloping. Make sure you know where you're going. You need to see if there's a curb or a crack in the road. It's really important and also some sticks. It's your job to make sure that you're strong enough to hold the stroller and that if there is a crack or a bump in the road that you have control. Because every now and then that stroller might want to tip or turn, but it's okay because you're a strong mom. It's time to check our pulse. With two fingers, find the pulse along the side of your neck and count the number of beats for 10 seconds. Let's begin. Stop. Look at your chart and find your target heart rate. If you don't have a chart, try saying your ABCs, and if you can say them very clearly, you're working in the right zone. We don't want you to overwork. Remember, you've just had a baby, and we don't want you to not work hard enough. Do mobile station. The first mobile station is the Jumping Jill. Cross your hands across your chest to hold down the breath. Just like a jumping jack, but don't go too high off the ground. I want you to keep the distance of your feet between six and eight inches at the most. And you're going to jump out and in, jumping Jill, and in, jumping out, and in, out, and in, not too high, up and down, out, 
and in, out and in. When you first start doing your mobile stations, I want you to do 25 and begin to work up to 50. Keep your belly button up against your back, small tiny waistline, out and in. You can double time it if you want to. Out and in and out and in and out and in and out and in. For the second mobile station, let's do tiptoe front. Point your right foot out in front, stretching your leg and rotating it from the hip. Then shift your weight so that the left foot reaches out and points in front. Now shift the weight from right foot and the left foot and the right foot and send your legs out like arrows in front of you. Your legs start at your belly button. Try not to scoop your tush. Keep your tush out just a little bit. Belly button in. Long legs. Tiptoe front and tiptoe front and tiptoe front. You can let your hips go side to side. Are your arms crossed around your chest? Good, 25 or 50. Now for the last mobile station, the block. With your legs apart, a good 20 inches, shift your weight to the right foot, and then shift your weight to the left foot. Then to the right foot. Your shoulders to the left, shoulders to the right. Left, right, left, right. By this time, the baby's looking up at you going, what are you doing? I'm your mother and your moving mobile. And I'm getting strong and energized so I can stroll you. Carry, lift, fold, and maneuver life for us. Left, right, left, right, good. The aerobics and cardio section is over. This would be a really good time to remember, drink water. There's a couple ways that you can use this program. One, watch it in the video and kind of remember the exercises. Or two, use the band and the clip card to remind you how to do the exercises. The most important thing is that you and baby are doing it together. Resisting and strolling and pushing with lots and lots of power and passion. Let's begin to think of our legs, our buttocks, and our hips. So let's stroller lunge walk. With the right hand on the handle or the bar, and your left hand on the hip, chest lifted. Step out along the side of that stroller. Reach out with the left leg and push that stroller through. You're gonna lunge forward with the left leg, standing up real tall, squeezing the buttocks to the top, and reach out with the right leg. Keep that elbow up. You're gonna do about five lunges on that one side of that stroller, and then you're gonna go over to the other side. In stroller size, when we go from the right side of the stroller to the left side of the stroller, it reminds me of the hormonal changes that we go through as women in this postpartum time. The ups and the downs, the fatigue and the energy and the whole thing. That's why we're just gonna continue with the left hand, it's on the handle, elbow is up. Remember when we're lunging, the knee does not go over the ankle. The shoulders stay right on top of the hips. I hope that belly button is in. Reaching out with the right leg and standing up both legs together. Squat pulses. This exercise is for the legs, the buttocks, and the, and the hips. With feet about two and a half feet apart, rotated from the hip, toes out, I want you to squat down like you're doing a ballet second position and go as low as comfortable. Keep that kegel muscle going. Knees directly over the heels, shoulders directly over the hips, and begin to pulse. Thinking of your buttocks squeezing in nice and tight. Remember not to tuck the pelvis under, nor stick the buttocks out, but try to find that neutral spine and pulse. Do about 10, 20. The next exercise is the step leg swings. Similar to the stroller lunge walks, you're gonna be on the one side of the stroller. The right hand on the stroller handle, the left hand on the hip. I want you to swing your leg like a pendulum. It can go as high as your hip, or maybe just a little bit off the ground, depending on where you feel comfortable. Keep your chest lifted. Let the hamstrings swing out in front of you, and you'll feel a stretch underneath that leg. And swing. You can imagine a swing set in a children's playground as it goes forward and back. 
Think of your leg going forward and back. Do about five, or maybe ten. Sit backs. Keep the stroller so that it's able to roll out in front of you, forward and back. With toes straight ahead, hands on the handles, you're going to sit back like you're sitting in a chair or a bench. But don't let your buttocks touch the bottom of that bench. Just clear it about an inch. Keep the knees over the ankle and let the stroller roll way out in front of you and feel that stretch in your back. And then bring it up and winch your belly button inside and then let that stroller roll way, way out. Don't touch that bench. And pull it way up, tiny little waistline, and way out. The baby's going to think this is the greatest in the rocking chair. And way, way out. And bring that stroller right up tight. Feel those handlebars go right up and say, get that stomach flat. And let the stroller go way out. Just hold it there for a second and tighten your buttocks. And bring it on up. Arabesque buttocks pulls. Lots of things for those hips. Holding the stroller with both hands. Looking over the stroller. Smiling at the baby. Standing on one leg. Put the other leg directly behind you. Get it up there now. Toe downward towards the ground, you're going to pulse that leg right into your favorite area. Pulse, squeeze the buttocks, feel the hamstrings in the back of the leg, belly button in, support it in the back, and give about 10 pulses. Then switch legs and put the other leg up. Remember to keep your elbows out, your chest lifted and supported, smile, and Pulse the leg, tiny little pulses in the back of the buttocks. Are you squeezing? Are you putting your brain in your bottom? Standing legs, slightly soft. Side leg lifts. Ooh, that's for the favorite area. If you've got any extra on the side of your hips and thighs, any little bulges, this is the exercise for you. Elbows up. Right hand is on the hip. Put that leg out to the side. Soften your standing knee and look at it. Then make your leg go up and get it. And bring it down, the toe is downward. Go up and mush that side of that hip and make it go away. This exercise is best done if you can focus the work on where you need it. Now let's go to the other side of the stroller. Right hand on the handle, left hand on the hip, and lift that leg up to the side. Do about five, or until you really feel the side of your hips burn. And since we're already dealing with the lower body and we really want to continue to keep working and making it tighter and better, I think it's time to do step-ups. Look for the children's park bench. Put that stroller close by and lock it. Take one last look at baby. Put your foot up on the top of the bench. Put your hands around a big tree and step up on that bench using your buttocks. When you get up to the top, squeeze and kiggle your waistline really tight. Squeeze your buttocks and get really tall. And then lower slowly as if you're going to stand on an edge. Come on, you can do it. And then up you go again. Squeeze long legs up the top and then lower yourself slowly. Is that foot on the bench glued? And up one more time. Remember, if you think of holding a tree or your hands out in front, it gives you a sense of stability because when you first start, you feel like you're going to sway off like a tree blown in the wind. But don't worry, your lower back will get stronger and you'll be able to handle this within. Hello? Other side. Get that left foot up on the bench. Hug that big tree. And step up on that bench like you're proud to be a mom. Hold it, get a sense of balance. You know, motherhood is trying to balance life. And it's usually done all on one leg. The mother load. Oh, this part makes me so tired. But then again, it makes me so strong. Push-ups. Face that bench. Hands about 18 inches apart. Heels off the ground. Legs together in that little skirt. Lower yourself down to that bench and just barely touch the bench with your chest, and then push it away, and then lower yourself down, and then push that bench away. Do about 10, and when you push that bench away, you exhale on that bench. Keep your lower belly button supported against your back, 
Keep your knees slightly bent. Dips. Turn around from the bench. Put your hands over the bench. Chest is lifted. Check the trees out. Toes out in front. Heels on the ground. Toes turned up just a little bit. Extend your arms. Feel the back of your triceps and say goodbye to anything extra that's on the back of those arms and lower yourself to a 90 degrees of the elbow. And then push up on that bench. Give a little smile to the baby because you're going to do nine more. And go and push up. Extend those triceps. Remember when we're doing our arms, it's because we've got a lot of lifting, folding, bending, maneuvering, carrying, struggling, but it's all worth it because we're holding that little baby and it needs your strong arms to continue the job of motherhood. Seated rollouts. Sit on the edge of the bench, the buttocks right at the very edge, and grab the stroller with the two hands. In the gym, the guys do seated rows, but we do seated rolls. Bring the stroller right up close to the bus line, elbows out, and then let the baby just roll out in front of you and extend your back and feel your waistline tiny, 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 then roll that baby right up close to you. The baby you think this is the greatest thing to the rocking chair. You'll think this is the greatest thing for the back of your scapulas. And I want you to pull your elbows back and squeeze the inside of that back, the mother muscles I call them, and squeeze the scapulas and then send it out. And inhale and exhale. All the power pushing that stroller out in front of you. Sparkles. Lock the stroller. The baby will not want to miss this. With the hands up in the air, make fives out of your hands. Make a fist, and then make a five, and make a fist, and make a five. The only thing you've got to do is never put them down. One hundred. Fist five, fist five, splay the fingers. Make every single movement really deliberate. Come on, I know your forearms are starting to burn. I know the shoulders are starting to burn too. But just remember, keep your chest lifted. Keep it going. There's a reason why we're doing this. It's so that you can lift the stroller, bend the stroller, get in a bus, open a car trunk, lift the baby, hold the purse. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. All right, now that you completely feel your arms are going to fall off, it's time to do your back. Grab the pink band off of the stroller and hold it about 12 inches from hand to hand. Stand up off that bench. Put one foot slightly in front of the other and get real narrow in your hips. Put the band up in front of you so you can see it and look up. Then bring the band down to your chest and then up to the sky and then down to your chest. And you know why we're doing this? So you have a strong upper back. And pull that band down to your chest and stretch it across. Make sure you're exhaling when you bring the band down. French pull downs. Oh boy. 